All right, guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. In today's video, it's going to be a little bit different, but we're going to be introducing the T Public course. Now, there's two ways to get access to the T Public course. You can literally go to the autopilotpassiveincome.com website, go over here to the T Public banner, click take a look, and it will take you to the T Public course. Or you could just simply go to the top here, find the T Public course button, and get there. All right. So, in the introduction video, as we do, with every video that we introduce a course, we're going to be talking about what's in the course, what we're planning to add to the course, and different scenarios of things that you get with the course and everything like that. So our goal here is to show you everything that you're going to be getting with this course so that there's absolutely no questions on, you know, is this course for me? Is it not for me? We're going to go ahead and, you know, iron everything out. All right. So to begin, as you guys know, as we add more content to the course, the course will increase in price. So currently to date, the course starts off at $29.99 and I promise you guys, it will not stay that price. If you've been a long-term watcher of the channel, if you've tried other courses, what we like to do is we like to put an entry price in and as we add more content, we're going to increase the price. We do this because we want to give a benefit to the essentially the early joiners, right? Um, it's just a way for us to say thank you and kind of give back and give you guys a little cut in the price, right? So that's the first thing. So the, the updates are going to be coming very, very soon. And as they come, we're talking about in a period of less than two weeks, there's going to be updates. And within these updates, that's when the price of the course is going to go up. Okay. So that's just to be clear. Now, we're going to be talking about what are those updates. So I'm just going to go ahead and get that stuff out of the way to begin with. We're going to add a bonus to the course where we talk about the inst and I'm actually going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial of linking T public with Instagram, joining them together and creating a unit for marketing, right? Creating a force for marketing. This is only if you want that extra bonus. Like I said, I want to be clear that to be successful or to make some kind of money on T public, you do not. And I repeat, you do not need Instagram. It is just a bonus. It is just a benefit that's added to everything else you're doing. In, the, in this video, in a few minutes, we're going to iron out the things that you're actually going to need to be good at to be successful at, at T Public. Social media, one of them including Instagram, is just happened to be one of the many things. It's not the end-all be-all, okay? And that's why it's a bonus. We're also going to be adding a bonus of some graphical fonts. So we're going to be adding some cool creative fonts for you guys to use when you go out there and you create some designs for T Public, the reality is majority of people are using one or two softwares and those one or two softwares have some pre-built uh, fonts in them. We want to go ahead and give you a little bit more, uh, a little bit cool fonts that are different than the competition out there just to give you that little edge. Once again, it's a completely free bonus. It's not something that you have to pay for. Now that's going to be added within the next coming two weeks. You might be watching this video after these two weeks where the price has already gone up and the bonus is already included. Now, what else are we going to be adding? Well, we have a thing that's pretty awesome about these courses is that whenever people have questions that come up that is related to the course content, we create videos based on those questions. Now, this is not obviously every single question that goes through. Some are going to be very basic questions that we just simply answer through like an email form or something like that. But sometimes there are questions that we feel might really impact the larger group. And we do updates based on these uh, questions. So if you guys are familiar, the Redbubble tagging course, when we first created that course, there were no questions. And then as we went on to have people join, 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 a lot of people started asking certain questions. Well, what we were doing is we were creating more and more updates later down the road where we were essentially answering people's questions through video. And that's essentially how people gained access to more content through that course. Okay. So this is the same way. There are going to be people who join T Public that go through the course, but they still have some questions. We want to continue to support you, and what you're going to get is you're going to get more videos added to answer those specific questions, okay? And like I said, we're obviously not going to make a video for every single question that comes through because that would be literally impossible, but it would be for the ones that we feel matter the most so that everybody can watch them and everybody can get a benefit from that aspect. 
The next thing we're going to be adding as the, you know, the days go on is we're going to be adding more content around the designing process. Uh, sometimes the designing process for any kind of print on demand site can be a little bit lengthy and we wanted to make sure that the first amount of content is that's presented on the course is more than enough to get you started and get you rolling and actually get you, you know, earning some kind of money. The content that we add later down the road along with the design process and other kind of videos are just supporting videos. The, the core content, the fundamentals, and the foundation is already uploaded to the course. So you can go to the course now, you can watch all the content, it's there. But once again, it really just depends on when you are watching this. If you're watching this three weeks from now, a month from now, the course has probably been already updated, the price has already increased, everything's different, okay? So now we talked about what we're going to be adding. Well, let's talk about what already exists in the course. So just to be clear, we will eventually pause the screen so you guys can see what the course membership area looks like, and you're, you're going to see all that, but um, we're going to talk about right now what's included in the course, and you guys can go ahead and feel free, look through the landing page, but I'll kind of explain everything. So what's included in the course, first of all, is we have a few different segments that this this board here, this content board, this course curriculum board will be updated, okay? Now, all the dummy text, things like that, we're going to be changing and making it better. But for now, let's just go ahead and focus on what's on the screen. Let me go ahead and zoom in. So this takes up a large portion of the screen here. Now, what we're going to be doing is in the beginning, you're going to see that there is a introduction to TeePublic, right? We're going to be introducing the different buttons, what the platform is like, etc. But the first content really starts off at getting uh, your designs seen on the marketplace or approved on the marketplace. For those who don't know, when you join TeePublic and you start to sell, you start to create designs, even though your designs are going to be approved for sale, meaning you can find the link, you can copy and paste the link, and you can send it to your friend, and somebody can buy your t-shirt, the only problem is you're not approved in the marketplace, meaning when somebody performs a search on TeePublic, and I'll just go ahead and do this now in an incognito tab, if I search for a specific di design, let's just say I search for the design Gorilla, right? If you created a Gorilla design, your design will not be found anywhere in the marketplace if your store is brand new because there's certain things that you're going to have to do to get approved, right? We're going to show you the very first lesson how to actually get approved and what kind of criteria that's going to take, okay? So that, you, so that whatever design you create into the future, it'll actually be seen in the marketplace. You have a chance of making money, okay? Without that section alone, you will never make money on, on TeePublic. doesn't matter how much work you put in, okay? The next thing we're going to do is we're going to help you find some winning designs. And we're not going to do this by the actual design figure, but diving into the niche research, which we have a whole segment on that I didn't even list here, okay? We're going to be doing some content on tag nomination. For those who don't know, when you get into TeePublic, and I'll just go ahead and once again open another example here, on tpublic.com, when you search for a specific design, let's go Let's go ahead and search for Gorilla once again. When you search for a specific design and you click on it, these designs appear because of their tags. The thing is, is uh, tpublic has certain rules based on the tags. You can see here, like for example, you could see here this design, you could see that it has a bunch of tags here that are in blue. But then there's also another tag here that's in gray. As an artist, you're going to want majority of your tags to be in blue, if not all of them, because that's what's increasing your tag nomination. The more that your tags are nominated to be chosen for the marketplace, the better chance you have to make money down the road. Every single tag that you add to your tags of your design contributes to traffic that you're going to earn. The less tags that are blue the less traffic you're going to earn. So logically, we need to show you what, how to basically increase the absolute likelihood from a logical standpoint of how to increase the likelihood to get your tags nominated from TeePublic. And when we say nominated, we mean having them clickable because this tag right here is not clickable for the situation uh, of this of this design. So if somebody was to search this exact keyword on TeePublic, they would not find this specific design, even 
though they added it in their design tags, okay? So just because you add certain tags to your design doesn't mean T Public is going to nominate you for those specific tags. That's something that's very important, and that's something we're going to include in the course to show you how you can go ahead and, and increase that likelihood that you can increase the number of tags that you've been selected for, okay? The next thing is SEO on T Public. So we're going to talk about T T Public's SEO simply because we gain traffic from all different angles. We gain traffic from Google. We gain traffic from T Public. These are things that contribute to our money making amount at the end of the day, right? And so, without the SEO, that's a crucial point. And we're going to actually be adding more and more lessons to this as time goes on. This is going to be one of those sections that we're going to be updating frequently because there really needs to be a lot of content in that area. SEO is very important, but SEO, for those who don't know, stands for search engine optimization. It's important to understand what parts of the T public listing are responsible for certain aspects so that when you create your T public listing, for example, you're creating your first gorilla design or whatever design you're doing, it's important to know what you're doing so that you can expect a certain amount of results. We say this that, you know, with SEO, when you do search optimization, search engine optimization, sometimes it could take six to eight months for your results to really be fruitful and you could actually see them come into formation. Well, with T Public, you want to make sure the, the the first time you do something, it's done correctly, so that you can wait that long period of time, and then you can actually get the results. But you don't want to sit back six to eight months, and not know what you're doing, not how to know how to do it properly, and never end up getting any traffic. The number one problem that I see with a lot of people in print on demand in general is that they just simply don't get enough traffic to their designs, whether it be for Redbubble, T Public, whether it be any other platform. Traffic is the lifeblood of your business. If you don't have traffic, you have nothing because traffic is what's going to essentially make you money. Let's go ahead and continue. We're going to be talking about the design process. So with the design process, we haven't yet included, like I said, the videos for the step-by-step -step, like art kind of process. I have a certain processes behind this. We're going to include this on the day that you know we make the updates to the course very very soon within two weeks it's coming like i said but we do have content right now in the course on the design process of what you should be looking for when you're designing what kind of uh different niches that you should be entering things like this when you're designing because it's really not wise to just sit there and design and expect your designs to be successful. There's really a process behind it. So we're going to be sharing that. The next thing we're going to be adding is the fundamentals of tagging. If there are some basics that you need to know about Red uh, T, T Public's tagging process, these are going to be the things that you're going to want to know. And it's all in the course, like I said. And then finally, we're going to be talking about the rules and policies of T Public. That's important because at the end of the day, you're on the platform. You want to make sure that you're doing everything correctly because we've said this before, but you have no rights over the T Public platform. T Public owns essentially your content. Now, something that I want to say is that what we're doing here, guys, is we're going to be working in a way to where T Public, the course, is going to be a two in one deal. And when I say a two-in-one deal, what I really mean is if you guys look at all the other courses that we've had before, the Zazzle, the Redbubble, we've separated the concepts of the course. So for Redbubble, we've separated how there's a tagging course and there's a design course. With Zazzle, we have just simply have a tagging course, right? We have a design course just for Redbubble. We have a tag course for Redbubble. Well, with TeePublic, what we're doing is we're mashing the two concepts together of tagging, designing, marketing, niche. We're doing all that, and we're joining what would have been content for two courses. We're adding it all into one course because, like I said, TeePublic, I feel this course really needs that so that we can craft the, really the best TeePublic course on the internet. Now, something that I want to be clear is that 90% of TeePublic creators their designs will never be seen. And it's not because of the competition, but it's simply because of the know-how. And I'm going to be honest, TeePublic is one of those websites that's a little more straightforward than some other platforms. So once you figure out how you get going on TeePublic and actually make money, you know, it's just rocket fuel from there. You're just going to keep moving forward. Sky's the limit. The only problem is designs that aren't seen are designs that don't make money. 
And you guys need to have your design seen in order to make money. So we're going to be going over the market research aspects. We're going to be talking about getting approved on the marketplace. You already know that. And the tag optimization. The thing that I want to be clear about is these sections right here. And I include this in the course page because I want to explain the value of TeePublic right now as a platform. In the last two months, guys, alone, TeePublic has moved over seven spots up in the ranking. So they started off at 7,000 something and now they're at 645 in the ranking. The closer they get to rank zero or rank one, that means the higher they're moving up on Google. For a website, guys, to move 700 spots up in the ranking, especially as higher they're already now, that means they're acquiring a lot of traffic. And indeed they are. If I take your attention here to the left side, T Public alone got 8 million visits on average a month. For the past quarter, that's a lot, guys. That's a lot of visits. You know, if we compare that, for example, to Redbubble, Redbubble is a huge website, a mammoth of a website. You know, they're getting like 20, 22, 24, 26 million. Sometimes, even on the really, really busy months, they're getting like 30 million. T Public, as low as a competition of a website it is, it's getting about 8 to 8.2 million visits a month. Just on April, you're looking at 8.2 million. And by now, it's already increasing. So I wouldn't be surprised if it's in the 9 millions by now. But the thing is, is that you want to be aware that if you compare T Public to Redbubble, even though T Public has a little bit less traffic, you're, you know, let's just say 8.2 million traffic visits per month, and Redbubble, let's just say, has 25 million, T Public, the amount of competition that's on there is maybe. 10 to 20 times less than that of Redbubble's, which really basically what I'm trying to say here is you have a huge open market. And to prove that, if we look here at Google Trends, and I'll just go ahead and show you guys this, if we just scroll down here, or scroll up rather, if we just take a look at this, and, I, and this is very important to show you, if we take a look at the trends that Google has, what you're seeing is you're seeing a chart here. You're seeing a chart where the red represents Redbubble and the blue represents T Public. I've said this last year, I've said this year before, but T Public is right now about, let's just say, eight years where Redbubble is was before. Okay? So if we and, and T Public Redbubble owns T Public. So it's very likely that they're growing the same companies the exact same way. You can see here the edge. On the edge to the right-hand side, you have the blue. That's T Public. They're at a score at a high of 13 right now on the Google Trends. If we check the last time Redbubble had a score of 13, that's back in August of 2013. So that means if you've ever were selling on Redbubble and you wish you had a chance to be an early mover into Redbubble, it's never been a better time to get into T Public because that means. Imagine, you know, if you had the chance to join Redbubble back in 2013, what would your business portfolio look like now? What would your income look like now, right? We're talking about, you know, nine years into the future. So really what I'm trying to say is you have an opportunity before T Public really blows up and joins Redbubble in the same size, you want to get in early, okay? So that's one of the things that I want to share. The next thing that I want to share about T Public here is that... T Public is mostly customers. You know, we see a large amount of traffic. Over 71% of the traffic that comes to Redbubble is from first world countries. We also know that a lot of the creators on Redbubble are from third world countries. So, really, what that means is that majority of the people who are visiting T Public are customers. They're people who want to purchase and make money. Uh, excuse me, they're, they're people who want to spend their money. And we, as the sellers on T Public, are the ones that are going to get those benefits. And you can see here, the United States has a staggering 55.74% of traffic that contributes to all of the traffic that Redbubble uh, T Public is generating per month. So almost half. You're looking at over four million visitors go to T Public alone every single month. Um, and we have search, we have direct. And that, that all that traffic is being funneled straight into T Public, so that you essentially can take all the income for the taking. So, I want to go ahead and close this video off with a disclaimer. Okay, this course that we're looking at, that that you were thinking about joining, it's not like this stuff is written in stone. This is my personal experience, and I'm sharing my personal experience, how I got here, and how I got to the success level that I'm at on T Public. 
with T Public guys, with all the income that I generated, I can sit here and truly say it's all about your hard work. If you take the course, you don't do anything about it, you don't watch the videos, you don't start designing, you don't start really working hard, you're not going to earn anything. I'm just I'm just being honest. It, so don't buy the course if you don't plan on working. This is one of those courses that there's no secret, there's no magic pill, there's no magic formula. If you don't put in the work and get your hands dirty, you're just not going to make any money. I'm sorry to say. And unfortunately, I can't guarantee a certain integer of money to be made because it all has to do with the amount of hard work that you're willing to put in. I also want to say that this course is not produced by TeePublic. Now, some people might get confused when I say this. Or it might actually be obvious. But I have no partnership, no agreement with TeePublic to put out this course. This is just simply my findings my expertise, and I'm sharing it with the world. This is not information that I read in a forum. This is not information that I took from another YouTuber. This is information, everything in the course that I've acquired by myself through my own hard work. And the fee for this course, that's $29.99 right now, it's going to go up eventually, that's just the fee to get access to the information that I worked hard to learn. That's all it is. Okay, so really what you guys are joining is you guys are joining not just a course, but a library of the information that I personally learned. And it's up to you whether you want to do it or not. But the point here is, is that I want to be abundantly clear so that everything is more than obvious before you join. Right. So now you know what we're going to be offering the course, what we're going to be updating the course within within the next two weeks. Uh, within the next, you know, by the next two weeks, the bulk of the content, other than the Q&A content, is all going to be completed and up in the course. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the screen and I'm going to show you guys how the members area looks. All right, so let me go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, guys, so after you pay for the course, you're going to be taken here to the members area. You can go ahead and save this page to your uh, bookmarks. But on the page for the Tee Public course, so on this page, you're going to see a button right next to this one that says log in if you're already a member. When you see that button, that's when after you pay, if you ever want to get back into the course, that's what you're going to click on to get back into the course. Now, what you're seeing is the members area. This is the introduction video. I'm not going to be clicking and playing on any of the other sections here because I don't want to expose the true content of the course. This is simply the introduction video, so I figured we show it, but these all sections right here, these are clickable sections within the course. We're doing it in a library type of format, so everything's in order and everything's clean and organized. What we have as plans for the future is some of the plans that we have for the future, we're looking at within the next six months to get some experts to start translating our courses for us so we can present our courses in all different languages. But like I said, this is just something in the works currently, but you can see here how the members area looks like. And like I said, as there's more content, this is just the introduction. Once you click, let's get started, that's going to take you to the first section where you get the approval of T public and, and so forth. Um, as the as there's more content added, there's going to be more literally content in the back end. So that's it, guys. That's all the content here for the course. I mean, you know, really excited to get started. I'll see you guys on the other side. All right. Peace out. Bye.